You have to write down your dreams. Many people have dreams, they don't write them down, then they forget critical parts. And if we don't steward the dreams we have well, if we don't value them, if we don't pursue the meaning of them, God might dry up our dream life. Why? Because he wants us to get the message, and so he's just going to talk to us in a different way because he loves us so much. He's not mad at you. He's just like, okay, they're not ready yet. They're not ready yet to step into that. But I think it's really important because so many of these things in our dreams, it's like encoded so that it's hidden from the enemy. We might get frustrated at times because it seems like it's hidden from us. But in a way, it's hidden from the enemy. I mean, if you have a dream, think about it. If you have a dream, it's got all these symbolic symbols in it, parabolic stuff, numbers, colors, all these, all these different elements in it. You have to sit with him and decode that. Whereas if I prophesy you to, talk to you out in the open, the enemy hears all that. He hears all that. So God gives you a dream, and it's got all these little secret compartments in it, and he reveals to you little by little sometimes what's in the dream. You might not know the fullness of what you dreamed, but when you need to know, Holy Spirit brings it back to your remembrance, and he gives you another level of the interpretation, and you're able to walk in the next level application, and you start to see his will come to pass in your life. So I like the dream world because it's almost like secret from the enemy in many ways. That's why we don't need to go bragging about our dreams to people. Remember Joseph, he just had to tell his brothers and his father about the dream. Not once, but twice. And what did they do? They threw him in a pit. They were going to leave him there for dead. Then they sold him as a slave. I mean, come on, guys. This is your brother. But they were jealous. And many people might find themselves jealous of your dreaming gift. So be careful not to throw your pearls before swine. Amen. Be careful because they'll try to murder you. many people. I know there's some prophets in here. And here's what Jezebel does. Jezebel and other demon powers will use people to try to discredit you before you even get your voice, your ministry off the ground because they don't want you to be taken seriously. So if the enemy can use somebody to discredit you before you get out of the gate, before you establish your own credibility or longevity or track record for accuracy, then you'll never get that far. And it's the same with the dream realm. So be careful. Don't be running around telling half the people in the church what you dreamt. Treat it as precious. Treat it as a treasure. Don't tell everybody. Don't tell everybody. Tell your neighbor, don't tell everybody. Don't tell everybody. So we want to seek knowledge about dreams, biblical knowledge, and we'll find it.